Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I'm Okpoyemi Uwoshini, and these are the stories we're following at the moment. The legal battle to unseat President Bola Tinubu will continue at the Supreme Court on Monday, October 23rd, as the Apex Court has listed for hearing the election petition appeal filed by former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party Standard BRI, in the February 25th presidential polls. The Apex Court will the same day hear the motion filed by Atiku, seeking to bring forth fresh evidence to prove that President Bola Tinubu submitted a forged certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The document Atiku sought to tender are the academic records of Tinubu, which were handed over to him by the Chicago State University on Monday, October 2nd. And Nigeria's ambassador to Morocco, Manson Uba Malik, is dead. The media and publicity officer of the Zazao Emirates Council said Manso Amau Namun Mabali died at a private hospital in Lagos on Monday while on transit to Morocco. Bamali, who was appointed by ex President Muhammadu Buhari last year, was also the Magaj in Gari Zazao and the biological younger brother to the Emir of Zazao in Kaduna State. And the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Federal Capital Territory Commander Kabir Taskwa, says the war against illicit drugs and trafficking in Nigeria is yielding positive results. According to AIM, President Bola Tinubu further reassured NDLEA, the nation and the international community of its commitment to the country's fight against substance abuse and illicit drug trafficking as he assured the provision of tools to the agency. And the senator representing Abia South Senatorial District in Hinaya Abari on Thursday said the current policy of appointing persons based on federal character rather than merit is a bane to achieving significant economic growth and development in the country. He said the policy, if not restricted, would allow unqualified persons to siphon pooled resources, defeating the mandate to ensure fairness and equity in distribution of post and socioeconomic activities. And in business, Nigeria's exports to Angola has its $16.8 million between 2020 and 2022. The Secretary of State for International Cooperation and Angola Communities, Dominion Goes Through Pairs, said the Secretary said, the Secretary who represented the Ministry of External Relations, His Excellency Tete Antonio, said the ties between both countries marked by signing the first socio-economic, technical, scientific and cultural cooperation in 1976 has been remarkable in the diplomatic defense and security, petroleum, education, culture as well as transportation sectors. And on the foreign scenes, Niger's military rulers said they fought an attempt by Mohamed Bazoum, the former president they ousted in a coup in July, to escape their custody on Thursday. The regime spokesperson, Amada Umab Abdurrahman, on state television had announced that the escape, that the escape bid forward and main actors and some of their accomplices were arrested. He also says an investigation has been launched. And in sport, renowned orthopedic doctor Matteo Vitali has revealed that Victor Osimen will be sidelined for around a month after he sustained a thigh injury on international duty last week. The 24 year old picked up the injury in the second half of Nigeria's 2 2 draw with the Green Falcons of Saudi Arabia. Napoli also announced this week that Osimen will be sidelined for a number of weeks following the setback. And that's all on the news at this moment. Many thanks for watching. I'm Okoyemi Uwashini. Bye for now.